Hi, welcome to the 12th episode of Unity Game Development for Complete Bigness series. In the previous episode, we learned about Canvas and its elements. In this episode, we'll create a small and easy game to practice whatever we have learned so far in Unity. So open a new project inside the Scenes folder, rename your scene as Game Scene. Create a quad and rename it to Background. Then I will import the seamless space background. Change its texture mode default and set its wrap mode to repeat. Hit apply. Reset its position. Change its scale to 20, 12, 1. Now select the background image and drag and drop it to the background image. A new material folder is created. Select the material in it, change its shader to standard, unlit texture. Now inside the assets folder, create a new folder named scripts. Create a new script and rename it to background scroller. Now, drag and drop this background scroller script to the background. Double click on the script to open up in the Visual Studio. Create the following variable. Private Mesh Renderer Mesh Public Float Speed The mesh variable will be used to hold the mesh of the quad while speed variable will be speed with which the background will move. Let's access the mesh in the start method. Mesh get component mesh renderer. Create a new method public wide scroll. speed plus equals 0.001f multiply by time dot delta time. What to do? Offset is equal to vector 2, new vector 2, speed multiply by time dot time zero. Mesh dot shared material dot set texture offset mean text offset. This method will move the background by changing the X offset of its material. Call this method in the update function. Scroll. Now save the script and go back to Unity. Set the speed to 0.1. Enter play mode to test and you can see the background is moving. Now create a square in the assets folder and drag and drop in the hierarchy. Rename it to player. Reposition it to minus 6, 0. Add a box glider 2D to it. And a rigid body 2D to it and set gravity to 0. Freeze rotation on Z axis. Also freeze position on the X axis. Now create a player controller script and drag and drop it onto the player. Double click to open it in the Visual Studio. 
create the following variables public rigid body rb public float move speed equals to 5 in the start method write rb is equal to get component rigid body 2d and in the update write float move direction is equal to input dot get access raw vertical rb dot velocity is equal to new vector to zero move direction multiply by move speed save the script and go back to unity create an empty game object and add a box collider to it Call it top wall and position it above the screen. Duplicate and rename it to bottom wall and reposition it to the bottom of the screen. Now enter play mode and you will be able to move up and down using the arrow keys. Drag another square into the screen. Rename it to obstacle, change its color to red. And rescale it to 2, 2. Create a tag obstacle. and give obstacle the tag. Add a box collider 2D and a rigid body 2D to it and set gravity to zero. Drag and drop it to create its prefab. Delete it and create a new empty game object called spawner. Create a new script and called object spawner and drag and drop it onto the spawner game object. Place the spawner ahead of the screen. Open the game object spawner script create the following variable. Public static object spawner instance public game object obstacle this instance is made so that we can access the contents of the script from other scripts and we will store the reference of our obstacle in this obstacle variable in the start method write if instance is equal equal to null instance is equal to this create a new coroutine I enumerator spawn items float time yield return new wait for seconds time vector to position is equal to new vector to transform dot position dot x random dot range zero three instantiate obstacle position quaternion dot identity this quaternion will spawn an obstacle at a random position after some time
call this coroutine from start. Start coroutine. Spawn items to F. Save the script and go back to Unity. Drag and drop this obstacle into the inspector. Now create a new script called movement and drag and drop it onto the obstacle by selecting it. Double click to open it. Write the following code. Public float speed. Public float max speed. In the start method write speed plus equals 0.003f multiply by time dot time. If speed is greater than equal to max speed, speed is equal to max speed. Create a new move method, public void move. Vector to temp transform dot position temp dot x negative equals speed multiply by time dot delta time transform dot position is equal to temp and call this method in update move this script will move our obstacle in game save the script and go back to unity set the speed to 3 and max speed to 5 enter play mode to test you can see our spawn object is moving Open the player controller script and create a new on collision enter method. Powered void on collision enter 2D collision 2D collision. If collision dot game object dot tag is equal equal to obstacle, time dot time scale is equal to zero. Save the script and go back to Unity. Now enter play mode and test. You can see as the player hits the obstacle, game stops. Now in the hierarchy, create a canvas. Then select scale with screen size. After that, create a panel. Rename it to game over panel. Down down its opacity to zero. Inside game over panel, create a UI text named game over text. Change its text to game over. Set its font to bold. Align it to center. Check best fit and set the color to white. Set its width and height to 400 by 400. Press F to focus on it. Position it on a little bit above. Now, create a new UI button. And rename it to Replay button. Change its text to Replay. Change the height of the button to 50 sets. Its text to best fit. Set the button color to blue and text color to white. You can make these changes according to your desire. Drag down the button a little bit. Now open the player controller script at the top right using 
Unity Engine, Dot, Scene Management, and create a new awake method. Public, void, awake, time dot time scale equals one. This will resume the post game at the start every time and create a new method. Public, void, replay. Scene manager dot load scene. Scene manager dot get active scene dot build index. This method will restart the game whenever the replay button is pressed. Now create variable at the top, public, game object, game over panel. And inside the on trigger enter method write game over panel dot set active true. Save this script and go back to Unity. Drag and drop the game over panel to player controller script. Turn off the game over panel. Select replay button and in the inspector click on this plus sign. Drag the player game object here and from the functions go to player controller and replay. Now enter play mode to test. As soon as the player hits the obstacle, game over panel is set active and after pressing the replay button, the game starts. That was a very simple game that we created in minutes just for practice. I hope you liked it. That was all for this episode. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.